Words definitely cannot describe the level of irritation that the narcissist will take you when they want to erase you. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. This will be a different type of video, non-structured. I've had something to say for a while, and I just... I can't hold it in any longer. <clears throat> so, during the end of your time with the narcissist, or when there is a vacation time coming up, <clears throat> your narcissist, if in the household and not having to work with them, will be the nicest person. But you will find that when you have to do difficult tasks with them, my friends, it is one of the most grueling and frustrating and mind-boggling things that helps you grow. Join me in my life of hell. Or I'd say, join me and take a dive into the festering waters that I have to deal with every single day, which is making me forced to make this book, which is forcing me to create my own legacy. Let's begin. I am a business owner, but I am still owned. You see, <clears throat> I have the keys to a wonderful foundation right now that is just so amazing. As you've seen in my last and previous videos. But this particular person wants to make my life a living hell. I, myself, am an early bird that gets the word. I get there at this particular foundation early. You see, the narcissist will put you in a situation or shout and scream in a previous conversation, revealing what their true intentions and what they really want out of you. And so, if you can abide by those simple, itty-bitty, small, minuscule rules, you'll find that uh, your time with the narcissist is a lot smoother. The narcissist hates you. Now, if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, they still hate a part of you. The part of you that they hate is the level-minded, at ease, wanting to get to the answer, and even the easiest way to the answer. They hate that constructive part of you, when you can break down things and then fix them, mentally or whatever it is, whether it's a situation or a part or whatever. The narcissist hates that I'm early and knows deep down inside how to try to frustrate me is his, is his goal. Now the reasoning why it's a animalistic part of this particular person. You see the narcissist has a primitive yet unnecessary side of them that they cannot help. This side is to attack. It's to attack. They can't help it. Just like a bug has to go out and do its thing and when it approaches anything else, it is all of a sudden alarmed. Even my cat that sometimes um, does not recognize me. A dog even. Until, you know, you're around them after a while and they see that they cannot, you know, defeat you. So they come down off of their high horse. But 
the early stages of entering this facility, I am very positive, extremely. But what the narcissist loves to do is start a confrontation, throw a, a big punch or a big blow to your mental construction. You see, you have to come into every situation with the grandiose knowledge of people don't like you. All right? They don't like you. So once you know that already, and your head's already on top of this, you can begin to start not giving a fuck about them. You understand? Or you can begin to not care about them. So immediately I switch myself onto the gridlock of, okay, F you, you're done. And this just adds on to the, to the list of why I am doing my thing and why I will be flying like the bird this time and never to return. They feel comfortable to try to ruin your day in the beginning, not knowing that they're making you stronger, especially as an adult. What I mean by beginning in the morning when you first meet them. So when the narcissist began to bark out orders, when the narcissist believes that all of this will be forgotten once again, <clears throat> He says something along the lines of, if you don't get this done, the rain is supposed to fall. Now, I, I said it to you very calmly, but I don't want to get my heart rate and level up for this video. I'm trying to keep it cool. But imagine a baboon with like a bee crammed up the rear end <clears throat> and it's stinging them constantly but the baboon's hands are too short to reach the back of its buttocks now you could help it out but you definitely don't want to and so instead of getting angry and I'm trying to teach you guys <clears throat> I don't get angry I, I simply calm myself I make sure I don't repeat what he said because I got what you said I get my tools together and periodically I have to go back and forth here goes where the situation gets crucial you see the narcissist wanted to create a situation knows that I haven't started anything for these past couple of weeks and so they know already um, <clears throat> this cat right here he's not going to get angry this time and so he's formulated a new plan. You see, I told you the narcissist is a good chess player, okay? Now, meaning chess player, um, meaning they will accept their pawns of being lost and, and their, their little battles being lost, but they still feel like they're whole. So because you have outsmarted them, they find it key role to try to outsmart you. So what they will do now is to purposely when no one's watching start a confrontation got it when they start this confrontation they know already that you're going to go into a particular direction because you've always done this particular direction and so what they'll do is they'll turn up the heat even more this is after you have gray rocked okay the, these are the, the dangers of gray rocking Right. So they turn up the heat. They'll keep they'll keep jabbing at you, throwing little jabs here and there, throwing little punches little here and there, making you do double of what you needed to do here and there. We're gonna jump to the end of the day. Now, I already know how to conduct myself, which is I don't. That's you, dude throughout the day and you know how I do that once again gray rock you hold firm with the gray rock but here goes where the downfall of gray rock is <clears throat> the narcissist will sacrifice 
their time and they will sacrifice their body just to get you irritated. All right. They're going to try so hard just to get you irritated. I'm talking about whether in a relationship, especially in a relationship, that sucks if you have to live with that person. Because the narcissist taught me to never live with anybody. <clears throat> and so it begins to get to the end of the day. <clears throat> and the work has doubled up. And so the narcissist knows that this is the only time that I can actually penetrate through the, the, the crust of my big shell that I have. He knows that. But at the same time, I'm an evolutionary type of person. I evolve into the next. And so <clears throat> he places a job for me to do. And of course, he yells and screams about what to do. But this time, he sabotages me. Beware of the sabotage. They will give you half of the instructions, set up the whole situation to make it look like it's something totally different of what you need to do, knowing it's five to ten minutes before it's time for you to go, okay? And so, when you go, mind you, I'm already calm and cool, you try to finish what that, that's necessarily needed to be done. And then the narcissist will come instantly because they already know that you are going to go to this component or whatnot with a devilish demeanor, with a broken leg, almost like the crypt that came out of the dungeon, you know, coming with that evil smile ready for you because they're so happy. You know, they look and they see that you've done something else. And so like a sniveling snake, um, like a little weasel and like a little cockroach, they go and they scurry on and they get other people to try to make you look bad. In my case, that didn't work. So then it was automatically do something else. So I did something else. And once I was finished, here goes the dangers of gray rocking. I began to tell them that I needed to go. Did what I needed to do. Then the narcissist comes and destroys what I worked on. And, and says that this right here needs to be worked on. Rips my stuff off to try to give a boost of look. I destroyed what took you so long to finish. What you need to do is relax because your time there isn't too, too long. All right. You, you, you need to understand that <clears throat> people's cockroach mentality and people's cockroach movements and ways of going about life is easily stepped on. You see, that's why I try to tell you guys to to formulate a plan at all times when dealing with the narcissist, when dealing with someone who obviously hates you to the core of their heart, you know, they will, they hate you so much that they pretend to like you during family moments. You understand? So, um, I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut this, uh, video short cause I'm going to go back to working on the book. And I literally only have four hours throughout the day. But it feels so good to be um, in this humble like situation because it, 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 you guys are going to be able to help me get up out of such a dark and swampy ooze of just blackness, you know, like. You know, this blackness. But I've, be, because of my, because of you, I cannot lie. Honestly, because of you YouTubers, I am able to float in this black goop with ease. I mean, the love that you gave me and all of that, that just make, that gave me, you guys are my parents. Not gonna lie. 
You know, you, you guys are the parents that should have been in my life. Because the amount of praises and the comments that you give is the reason why I can keep on keep on trying to live. Like I feel it in my heart, like the, the love for real. So <clears throat> I just had to put this video out there to 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 let you know that gray rocking have it has its dangers, but um the animation that I will come up with pretty soon and will be on Patreon. Um you're really gonna like how I have it structured of there'll be twenty different things even a hundred different things pretty soon of how to react when a narcissist does something. So I'm just giving you that clue and um, you'll love it. It'll be a like a never ending series. I mean, I'm not going to stop. So thanks for the support. I know this video isn't really edited, but um, I just I'm I was heated, but not really heated. Like I'm just really excited to keep on making more of this. Keep on pushing this to you guys. Keep on trying, you know, like different things. Keep on working on my novel, you know, and just I really appreciate it. Because without you guys, I really would be a very upset person. I mean, for instance, none of my neighbors uh, show me any love. No one that I, I am surrounded by show me any type of love. Like none whatsoever. Barely my mom, you know. So <clears throat> it's just thank you. Because I probably would, I probably would be, I don't know where I would be without you guys. So I'm going to cut it short like that because I'm getting too emotional and stuff. Because, you know, when it hit me like a rock, my hard days are nothing. You know, like, it's, it's G-O-D, you and me, and together, you know, we can make it so we can be free. Later.